Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use SSL strip on your Wi-Fi pineapple. So what we're going to do for this tutorial is we're going to install the SSL strip infusion on our pineapple, and then we're going to use it to grab a target's login information for Facebook, WordPress, and Yahoo Mail. And these are only a couple of examples that I think will emphasize both the capability and the effectiveness of SSL strip. But of course, you're free to experiment with it and test it against other targets. Now, for those of you who don't know what SSL strip is, SSL strip is a man in the middle attack tool that is used to observe and manipulate HTTP traffic. In other words, internet traffic or what the client is doing in their web browser. When SSL strip sees an HTTPS request come across the network, it will manipulate that request so that it will redirect the client to use HTTP instead. Now, why is this important? Well, unlike HTTPS traffic, HTTP traffic is not encrypted and therefore data such as login credentials is vulnerable to attackers. Now if the client is using an HTTPS connection, we can still watch that data travel across the network, but we can't interpret it and we can't make any sense of it because it's encrypted. So I would encourage you to do a little research on the HTTP and HTTPS protocols to kind of strengthen your understanding of this attack. But for now, let's move on with the tutorial and get started. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to connect to our pineapple and log into its web interface. So go ahead and connect to your pineapple either via Wi-Fi or an ethernet cable, whatever you prefer. And then let's open up a web browser. And in the URL bar, we're going to navigate to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 172.16.42.1 colon 1471. And then go ahead and enter your login information and click the login button. And we'll give the pineapple a moment to boot up and load all the infusions. Now, before we can install SSL strip, we need to ensure that our Wi Fi pineapple has an internet connection. And the easiest way to do this is to use client mode, which is located in the network infusion. So let's go ahead and open up the network infusion. And then we're going to select the client mode tab and we'll wait while it looks for nearby wireless networks. And when it's finished, go ahead and click the drop down menu and then find the wireless network that you want to connect your pineapple to and select it. Now I'm connecting to an open or an unencrypted network, so I don't need to enter a password. If you're connecting to a network that does require a password, a field will appear titled key. You'll go ahead and enter your password there and then we'll continue. So once you've made those settings, go ahead and click connect to this network and we'll give the pineapple a moment to connect. Okay, now that our pineapple has an internet connection, we can install SSL strip. So let's go ahead and close out the network infusion and we're going to open the pineapple bar infusion and then we're going to select the pineapple bar available tab and we'll give the pineapple a moment to load all of the available infusions and here we need to find the SSL strip infusion for me it's located at the top of the list and once you find it go ahead and click install and in the prompt we have two options we can install SSL strip to our internal storage or we can install it to our SD card. I'm going to recommend installing it to your internal storage, but you're more than welcome to install it to your SD card if you want. So let's go ahead and click install to internal storage. And we'll give it a moment to download and install the infusion. And when it's finished, your web interface is going to automatically refresh and you should have an SSL strip tile. I can see mine down there at the bottom. I'm just going to scroll down. And now we need to go ahead and open the SSL strip infusion. Scroll back up. And before we start SSL strip, I'm going to enable the auto refresh option because I want the output to be delivered as it arrives. And now that's on, we can go ahead and start SSL strip. So let's click start. Okay, and now that SSL strip is running, I'm going to simulate a victim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to another computer. I'm going to connect to the pineapples access point and we're going to see if we can grab some usernames and passwords. Okay. And I'm here at my victim computer. I'm going to start simulating what a victim would do. First thing obviously is to open up the network manager and to connect to the Wi-Fi pineapple. 
Seems harmless enough, right? Pineapple's a pretty nice fruit. And I'm connected. So of course, the first thing I wanna do is open up my web browser and log into my Facebook page. So I'm gonna open up Firefox. And again, I'm trying to simulate what a victim would do. And if you refer over to the SSL strip output, you'll notice some data has appeared there. It's nothing very crucial right now. We'll get back to that in a moment. So in my URL bar, I'm gonna to navigate to Facebook. And you can see I am now at Facebook. And you may notice at the top left in the tab, there is a lock icon. This is an icon that is placed there by SSL strip to add a little bit of legitimacy to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in now. So I'm gonna enter an email address. I'm just gonna make something up. I'm just gonna call it user at Facebook. Dot com. Then I'm going to enter a password. I'm just going to call it mypass123. And before I click log in, let's refer back to the SSL strip output field so we can watch as this data arrives. So I'm going to go ahead and click log in now. And you can see at the bottom there, we are able to read the username and the password. Now you'll notice there it says user and then the percent character 40 facebook.com. The percent 40 represents the at symbol. And I will actually create a chart to show you what the different special characters are represented as. And that way you can kind of decode what's happening. So if a password does contain special characters, you'll know what they are. And you'll also notice the password there, mypass123. Now, instead of leaving it at this, I'm gonna show you a couple other examples here. Let's go ahead and go to WordPress. And you'll notice that I've been brought to WordPress. I'm gonna go ahead and log in with an email and the password. I'm gonna call it user at wordpress.com. Password is gonna be lamepass123. Refer back to the SSL strip output field. I'm gonna click sign in. And there it is. And it shows user at wordpress.com. Password equals lamepass123. Now for the final example, I'm gonna to go to Yahoo Mail. Okay, and here I am at Yahoo's login page. I'm gonna go ahead and enter a Yahoo ID. I'm just gonna call myself user at yahoo.com. And for the password, I'm gonna call it pass. And then I'm gonna use some special characters. I'm gonna use an exclamation mark. I'm gonna use a dollar sign. And I'm going to use an asterisk and before I click sign in let's refer over to the SSL strip output field and I'm going to click sign in okay and there it is the login equals user at yahoo.com and the password equals pass and then those special characters I entered and again I'm going to supply you guys with a chart so you can decode those combinations to figure out what those special characters actually are some special characters are represented as themselves in plain text, like the asterisks that I entered at the end there. But as you can see, the exclamation mark and the dollar sign are represented by percent sign 21 and percent sign 24. So those are all the examples that I wanted to show you. When you're finished using SSL strip, you can simply click stop. And if you wanna refer back to any logs, you can click the history tab and here you can see I have one log, which is from the session that we just did for this tutorial. You can view your logs or download them, or you can delete them if you no longer need them. So that concludes our tutorial on SSL strip. I hope you enjoyed it, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.